hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is joshua matthew if you are old here thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when i upload a new video in this tutorial we are going to learn how to design a flyer like this using photoshop let's get started i'm going to use 4 by 4 inches then my resolution is going to be 300 then click on grids now go to your color select solid color then i will copy my color code ctrl c then and ctrl v to paste then import your background layer mask then select your gradient tools apply your blending to blend the edge here okay reduce your opacity I'm taking it back to normal then click on my layer mask again I will blend this area like this then I'm going to bring this light flare over here okay then bring this thunder storm light and i'm taking it over to this side then apply your layer mask then you blend it Reduce the opacity to 30. Then I'm dragging this image down to Photoshop. Then I'll take it up here. Then select multiply. Then apply layer mask. Then go to your gradient tools then you blend like this then i'll reduce the size this way and reduce the opacity now i have 12 it's okay then the next thing i will do i'm going to apply a brush this is the brush i'm going to apply i will leave the link in the description then I will come down here then I apply it okay now I have something like this then I'm going to copy my test
I'm going to use black color then um, we come down here and we select a rectangle over here I'll drag it remove the outline color then the fill color should be white hold your shift key then you drag it up to reduce the size now go to filter select block gaussian block then convert to smart object then increase it then i have something like this okay then i will copy the test I mean to duplicate the test, Ctrl J, drag it down, and select the test, copy your present, then Ctrl V to paste, I'm going to expand the, the line there. Then what I will do again, I'll go to my drop shadow. Then I'm going to select white color. Then Increase the shadow, change to multiple, you have something like this, okay. Now I'm going to group this one as my background, Ctrl G. Then group this one as church name then i'll group this one as the name over there then i will select my test tool t on the keyboard to select test tool Then I will come here to copy again, Ctrl C, then Ctrl V to paste. Then I will reduce it to zero. Okay. I will change the font name to Open Sun. Then increase it the, the boldness. I'm going to use extra bold. Then I will scale it out big like this. Then I'm going to use red color. like this then ctrl j to duplicate this one hold your shift key to drag it so that you will, it will come out center alignment then copy your test then ctrl v to paste it And I'll drag it to be equal with this one so that it will be properly aligned. Now I'm going to apply a blending option. The setting I've already 
applied a setting before then what i use here this type is inner bevel then smooth the depth is 240 then this size is 10 and the gloss contour here is this shape the mountain shape there now also also apply inner glow then is screen here hundred percent opacity then my size is seven then you apply a shadow then black then the size or reduce the size distance is 4 then the spread is 3 and the size is 7 now ok then hold your alt key then you drag the effect to discourage then automatically I will have it here so then the other way to do it you right click then you come to copy layer style then you come down and you see paste then you paste it that is another way to copy layer style effects then again i'm going to copy the this test here ctrl c to copy then t on my cupboard or test two then ctrl v to paste then ok change the color to black ok i will change the test here to railway semi board then i will increase the size to align with this courage then use i will use my arrow key then to drag it down The other one again to do is to draw a rectangle over here. Then I will apply a red color. Then remove the outline color. I'll come here to copy my test ctrl c then i'm going to change the color to white hold your shift key then you drag this side Hold your control key, then you select the rectangle board and the test, then align together. Now, this is what I have. Now, I'm going to decrease the size. Okay. Then I will, I will bring this one
then I will copy my dates then I'll paste it change the font color to black Then I will change the font to open sun, then make it bold, extra bold I used. Then drag it over here, then to duplicate it. I will copy January and paste it. I will change the extra bold to bold. Then reduce the size. Now I have something like this, then what I will do next, is to copy the time, Ctrl C to copy, then duplicate the date here, Ctrl J. Ctrl V to paste. Sorry for that. Ctrl C to copy. Then paste. Now I will reduce the size. I'm going to reduce this one to 11, then select this one again, reduce it to 11, okay. Then I will drag it again to make sure it's equal with the line again draw a rectangle over here then this is the color I'm going to use then remove the outline color Copy your, your test T for test two. Control V. Then I'll drag it here.
now i'll bring this one Then copy the last test. Then reduce the size. I'll select the test and the rectangle here, then apply center alignment. Drag it out a bit, it's okay. Now this is what I have. Thank you very much for watching.